Applying trigonometric double angle formulas. Given the following, sine theta equals 7 over 11, and theta lies in quadrant 2, find A sine 2 theta, B cosine 2 theta, and C tangent 2 theta. This means that we need to know what our double angle formulas are. So we'll start off and we'll say that sine, and I'm going to use the letter U in this moment because I don't want to get confused by using different Greek letters and you'll see what I mean as we progress through this is going to be equal to 2 sine u cosine u now there are three possibilities for cosine 2 u but we'll just go ahead and use the first one that appears in most lists cosine squared u minus sine squared u and then tangent 2 u is going to be equal to 2 tangent u over 1 minus tangent squared u. However, I'm just going to simply use the fact that it's also equivalent to sine 2u over cosine 2u. That way I don't have to actually calculate what the sine of theta is and I know it's not going to be that difficult, but it just kind of makes life a little easier. So, first off, we need to determine what we're working with. Okay, we know that the sine of theta is equal to 7 over 11, and it lies in the second quadrant. And in order to go ahead and calculate everything that we need, we need to know what the cosine is. So it's second quadrant, so it looks like this. Theta is this angle. We know that we can use our right triangle and we're going to use x, y, and r. We know that with sine theta that's equal to y over r and in order to find cosine theta that's going to be equal to x over r so the missing component is x in this case because y in this case is going to be 7 and r in this case is 11 and I don't know what x is but I do know that it's going to be a negative value because it's in the second quadrant so we'll go ahead and use r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared Therefore, 11 squared is equal to x squared plus 7 squared. So I have 121 equals x squared plus 49. We will subtract 49 from both sides of the equation. That will give us 72 on the left side is equal to x squared, or I can rewrite it as x squared equals 72. Therefore, x is going to be equal to plus or minus square root of 72 which will simplify to plus or minus 6 square root of 2. And remember, since it's a negative value, we're going to use the negative, or I should say in second quadrant, we're going to use the negative value of x. Therefore, I now know that the cosine of theta can be written as negative 6 square root of 2 over 11. And I can put the negative sign out in front, whichever one, they both are the same thing. So let's go ahead and find sine 2 theta now. And I'm going to use my first double angle formula. It's going to be equal to 2 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. So that's going to be 2 times the sine of theta cosine theta but I know what sine theta is that's going to be 7 over 11 and I know what the cosine of theta is that's a negative 6 square root of 2 over 11 so then we just simply multiply all that out and we'll get a negative 84 square root of 2 over 121 now we're going to find cosine 2 theta which in this case is going to be equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta which is equal to negative 6 square root 2 over 11 
squared minus 7 over 11 squared, which will yield 72 over 121 minus 49 also over 121. So then we go ahead and subtract that, which is simply 23 over 121. Now, in order to find the tangent of 2 theta, I'm going to put the sine of 2 theta over the cosine of 2 theta. And we'll just squeeze this in right here. And since the sine of 2 theta is negative 84 square root of 2 over 121, and cosine of 2 theta is 23 over 121, this will simplify because the 121s will divide out. And in point of fact, you don't even need to put the 121s into the fraction because we know that they will divide out and we'll have negative 84 square root of 2 over 23 and so let me go ahead and put a dividing line right here so that we know that I'm not trying to say that negative 84 square root of 2 over 23 is equal to 72 over 121 